A new directive from Oklahoma State Superintendent of Public Education, Ryan Walters, requires all public schools in the state to teach the Bible and the Ten Commandments starting in the fall. This directive comes on the heels of a similar mandate in Louisiana that required the display of the Ten Commandments in classrooms. Superintendent Walters emphasized the importance of incorporating the Bible into lesson plans to ensure students grasp the core values and historical context of the country. Critics, however, argue that this directive violates parental rights in the Constitution's separation of church and state. Rachel Laser from Americans United for Separation of Church and State criticized the directive, stating that it promotes a Christian nationalist myth and constitutes indoctrination rather than education. Superintendent Walters defended the policy, citing the historical significance of the Bible in American history and expressing confidence in legal challenges. The directive has sparked debate over the role of religion in public education and its potential impact on students. Critics fear that such measures could lead to division and discrimination in schools. Superintendent Walters reiterated that the goal of the directive is to ensure students have a comprehensive understanding of American history, including the influence of the Bible. The debate surrounding the directive underscores the ongoing tension between religious teachings and secular education in public schools.